I guess the idea of not being alone means that you're safe and you have like a home to come to. Not necessarily like a home home, but it's still a place where you're surrounded by really good support that, and you're actually on a, a road to where you can um, pursue mental wellness and not feel like you're just a balloon floating out in the air, but you're actually tethered and safe and warm. I guess like I've always been a really anxious child since I was small. Um, gradually, since then, in the past six years, the ups and downs have just gotten really high and really low. Um, and then I was finally diagnosed with bipolar two. Yeah, this year has been like a really big year of finally settling into a really good support system. Like it took a while, but like I feel like I finally found it and I feel like I'm not just like floating on my own. I started photography when I was a kid because I would dress up my dolls and pose them. Um, <laughs> but then um, I got more serious about it um, when my mental health issues started. Um, after my concussions, I, I don't have a very good memory, so photography is like a way of a way for me to not only process what I'm feeling, but also to remember the way that I feel in certain moments. You just really don't want to get out of bed. You don't want to go anywhere. You don't want to do anything like, nothing really makes you happy. Things can make you happy for a second, but you always feel sad in the end, you know? It was pretty hard to find help. Um, a long time we would go to this doctor and he would say go to the next and he would say go to the next and he would say go to the next and it'd be like this almost this loop. Getting help for Finn was one thing. It was tough, it was confusing, it took a long time and after a while I realized that when a child is sick, a young person is sick, it affects your whole family and our whole family was was in crisis because our son was sick. Uh, and there wasn't a lot out there for us. What the Foundry is doing in terms of early intervention, bringing resources together, is really, really important for this community. When I talk about it not being user-friendly and struggling to get the resources that you need, the Foundry is going to do that. And it's going to give families and children access to the help they need in an efficient way, in a timely way, um, and it's gonna make a difference. It can be really hard to come to a place of understanding and support when, there's, when it's something that you might not necessarily um, be experiencing um, firsthand, but um, I'm really proud of a city that will come together for its youth. I think the idea of having everything in one place, like the foundry is a great idea, I think I would have personally got help way faster and it would have been way less stressful for our entire family. What I say to the donors is you've invested in something great. I'm, I couldn't aim something better for you to invest in. I'm extremely happy with what this, the Foundry has to offer and I'm personally very excited for it to open and I'm very impressed and grateful that you've donated.